It's interesting how people just consistently follow error. I wrote something the other day. I don't know. It'll be coming up sometime. Because... I'm working some things in my mind. I wrote that when your thoughts, which are wrong, become your friends, then your conscience has been seared with a hot iron. I was thinking that scripture, conscience seared with a hot iron. When could my conscience be seared with a hot iron? Could only be when I have thoughts that are wrong and those thoughts have become my friends where I really have accepted them in then my conscience has to be seared with a hot iron. I think that's the meaning of that scripture with elucidation. Like she was saying about the statement, one God in three persons I've heard that ever since as Nehemiah a grasshopper. See, that's the theological background I went through. I could give you all the arguments, but they were all outside the pale of the word. They were theologians' positions, theological positions that men had propounded through the years. sound real great as a matter of fact even sound logical at times but totally in air but there again you see that doesn't bother me so much today because I understand that genuine and counterfeit are so much alike that you've got to be a specialist in the field to separate them generally I believe that the counterfeit is so much like the genuine also for people who are walking on the word and the greatness of the word and attempting to do so. But once you get way off of the word, the counterfeit can be way out, doesn't have to be much at all like the genuine anymore because you don't wouldn't spot genuine anyways. See, so the, I, I see that graduation in that spirit side of the story.